is a camel a mammal all about mammals by tish rabe illustrated by jim dirk i'm the cat in the hat and i'm writing a book it's all about mammals come on take a look from the fruit eating bat to the smart chimpanzee from the moles in their holes to the seals in the sea. From raccoons to baboons, I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. All mammals breathe air and are warm to the touch. Mammals grow hair, some a lot, some not much. Their hair can be soft like the fur on a kitten or the wool from a lamb who knit into a mitten. Their hair can be hard like this small hedgehog spines or the dangerous quills on these two porcupines. Mammals live on cold mountains and hot burning sand down deep in the oceans or out on dry land. They can hop, jump and swim or glide high on the breeze. They can walk, run, and climb, or swing up in the trees. They are full of surprises, of that I've no doubt. Is a camel a mammal? Read on and find out. What's the world's smallest mammal? I've brought one for you. It weighs less than a dime. It's this cute pygmy shrew. What's the world's largest mammal? I knew you would ask. You can figure it out if you're up to the task. Find some elephants, each weighing 12,000 pounds. Weighing elephants is just as hard as it sounds. When you've got 27 stacked up on a scale, you'll come close to the weight of a single blue whale. This stupendulous mammal lives under the sea and its baby when born weighs two tons more than me. Here's a fact about whales that I learned from the Sneetches. When one jumps out of water, we say that it breaches. And speaking of babies, a hippopotamus baby, a son or a daughter, must swim right away cause it's born underwater. And these bobcat kittens have soft furry paws, but hidden inside them are very sharp claws. Baby bats are called batlings and mom bats I hear give birth to just one little batling each year. When a mom armadillo has babies, you'll find she has four. They're all boys or all girls, just one kind. Each baby a possum's the size of a bee. 18 can fit into a teaspoon, you see. Kangaroos, bandicoots, and wallabies have pouches to carry their babies with ease. Mammals come in in all colors, and this helps to protect them. They're designed so their enemies cannot detect them. The snowshoe hair will turn white when it snows from the tips of its ears to its little pink nose. But in spring when the snow melts, its fur turns to brown. It can hide then because it blends in with the ground. Skunks have black and white fur that warns stop, stay away. But if someone keeps trying to get them to play, they will stamp, then let loose with a foul smelling spray. Skunks tend to lose lots of fun playmates that way. The polar bear, walrus, sea lion, and otter spend most of their time in their home in the water. A mother bear snuggles right down in her cave with her two little bear cubs, who both are named Dave. They sleep through each winter. It's spring when they wake. It's called hibernation. 
this leap that they take. A giraffe, cow, or bison has horns on its head. Caribou, moose, and reindeer have antlers instead. Horns stay on forever, but antlers, I hear, fall off just like Thidwicks at the same time each year. Some mammals eat birds, reptiles, insects, and fish, and some prefer plants as their favorite dish. Pandas eat mostly a grass called bamboo. Koalas have only one leaf they will chew. Tigers and wolves can go days without food, but it tends to put them in an unfriendly mood. Lion, tiger, jaguar, cheetah, the biggest cats you'll ever meet a. Ant eaters never can find time to play. They have to eat thousands of ants every day. You may think that cheese is what mice like to eat, but they really like seeds such as corn, oats, and wheat. Carnivores love juicy meat. Herbivores like plants to eat. Omnivores, we do recall, like meat and plants. They eat it all. Now here is a question I want to ask you. Is a camel a mammal? You're right, it is true. They're the ships of the desert. They're called that, I know because the camels take people where they want to go, across hot desert sands or through cold icy snow. With their four padded feet, it can walk without sinking and go on for days, even weeks without drinking. Long, heavy eyelashes, nostrils that close, keep the sand out of it, its eyes and its nose. My book about mammals is almost complete. There are just two more mammals I want you to meet. They are right here in this room. One has brown eyes, one blue. These mammals are two of my favorites. They're you. Yes, people are mammals. Amazing, but true. Oh, and cats in tall hats? Well, yes, we're mammals too.